Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch this side and ride. Welcome to our show ride battery buying guide at Revzilla.com. So Showrai batteries produce really an upgraded battery for all types of power sport applications. Motorcycle, ATV, personal watercraft. And really the benefit of the lithium iron technology versus lead acid technology is it's longer lasting, it's lower maintenance, it's lower weight, up to 80% lighter compared to a lead acid battery, but it produces higher cranking power. So really it is an upgrade in technology that you typically need to invest in from the $80 mark all the way up. But what you're getting is a battery that is going to be much easier to use over time and you're gonna have many less dead cell attempted starts. I know myself, I can be really bad with my battery tender and after about a month of sitting, it's gonna to be tough, especially if it's cold to turn that sucker over. These bad boys, you can let them sit up to six months before you really have to think about tending them. They hold their charge. It's a nice technology that really adds to the low maintenance experience of enjoying your motorcycle. Now, when you think about the battery and you think about choosing the battery, because it's going to be up to 80% lighter, it's less material, it's smaller, it's a much more compact battery. So what you'd need to do is you need to go to showridepower.com, put in your year, make and model, it's going to tell you the proper replacement battery for your application. And what you're, when you think about that, if you look at it, this is the box it would come in, because it is smaller and it's so much lighter, typically they'll try to get one of the dimensions, length, height, or width the same as your stock battery, but it comes with all these dual-sided sticky foam shims that allow you to beef up the battery box so it's not going to slide around on you. And remember, when I think about installing a battery on a motorcycle, it's one of the easier things can do. It's absolutely a level one on a one, two, or three scale of degree of difficulty. But honestly, if you can work a screwdriver and a pair of scissors, you're pretty good to go. The, the hardest thing in the process is really making sure that you put your bike information correctly at showridepower.com and getting the right recommendation for the battery to purchase at revzilla.com. And as always, we do ship for free. You can talk to our gear geeks. And remember, I'd love to hear your gut reaction to your show ride power, your show ride batteries. Click here, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV. Leave me your comments and your questions and your concerns. Now, diving into some of the nuances on the show ride battery. Remember, less material, it's smaller, it's going to produce a higher cranking output even in the cold. That's a nice touch. And it's gonna be so much lighter. I mean, you typically think about lead acid batteries that might weigh eight pounds, you're gonna get them for two pounds from show ride. If you look at the anatomy of the outer shell, when we think low maintenance, there's no acid in this mix that you're going to have to add. It's closed, so there's no drainage, there's no port, there's no acid level to maintain. I myself have had bikes where it's, it's leaked acid depending the bike's been tipped over, damages your bike, damages your paint. You don't have to worry about that venting. You don't have to worry about that acid. Really what you have to worry about is connecting to the terminals. And you see I have this one stocked from the box that comes taped with this yellow tape. I'm gonna pull over the one that I pulled the tape already off of. You can see both on the horizontal side as well as on the vertical side, vertical side there are threaded holes for screws. So if you can work a screwdriver, you can even do it without a nut. You can just connect this really easily. And remember, always start with the positive first and then ground the negative side. The other things to keep in mind, remember we talk about the longer lifespan and the fact that these don't have to be tended all the time. Because it's a lithium iron battery, not a lead acid, desulfation typically doesn't happen and that's a chemical reaction inside the battery that deteriorates it. So what you need to make sure that you do is buy the correct battery tender that does not have a desulfation mode. It'll be a battery tender specifically for a lithium iron battery versus lead acid. Keep that in mind and you won't do any harm to the Showrai battery. Also keep in mind when it gets cold or if your bike is going to be sitting for a little bit, what happens is the battery will become dormant. Doesn't mean it's lost its charge. Just means you need to turn your key to the on position, run your headlight for a minute or two, it'll reactivate the power, it'll unlock the charge, and you'll be good to go to crank it with the full power from the show ride. That's one of those nice, longer lasting, lower maintenance elements that come with an investment in the newer technology. So remember, the biggest hurdle is going to showridepower.com and finding out the exact OEM replacement battery for your bike and you're gonna shim it out when you install it. No sweat, it's very, very simple. As always, you should click right here, read other rider reviews of Showri batteries at revzilla.com. Start with my good information, know what you're getting yourself into and the level of investment you wanna make, but you don't have to take my word for it. As always, we do ship for free. Remember, it is a part, once you've opened it up, we can't take it back, keep that in mind, guys. And as always, if you wanna to talk to a gear geek, if you have any questions, if I haven't covered all the bases for you today, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown and buying guide of show ride batteries at revzilla.com. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.